Hey everybody, what's up? This is your girl Dragon. It's time for another live help session with the creative block. It's been a long day, but before I get started, I do want to say thank you guys for the follow and for all the support. Um, got 1,234 followers on Twitch. Thank you so much. And then I just hit a milestone on YouTube as well. Um, at my thousand on the 14th of February. So that's so fantastic. Thank you guys so much. This tutorial, I do hope it's going to help you guys because I'm going to show you how to create last man standing with the player counters. So I have two examples here, one with the in-game device and one that teleports. And this request is going to be done for Dolly and Feedlist in the creative block. So yo, you guys, I do hope this helps out. What I'm gonna do is first show you a play test so you can see what we're doing. And then we'll jump into the settings. What's up, Sinport? All right, so it's not gonna start until the players are actually in the zone. So what I'm gonna do is go into the zone and you see that's when the timer starts. Now, right now it's all red. That's because there's two or more players in the zone and I have a timer that's going to continuously check and compare to target. Now, just for tutorial purposes, I have a HUD message that says players are still in the zone. You definitely don't wanna have that during a live game. Um, however, that's just so you can see that everything is running as it should be. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate the player. And once it reaches it in, you see it turns blue now. That means it's successful. It's gonna end the round. And let's see here. And I don't have the player set to spectate mode. So I might have some additional spawns on there. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to the next zone over here. So let's do that. Now this zone will teleport players. It will not end the round. And you see right now, two or more players are in the zone. It's going to continue to check. And as long as they're in the zone, it's going to basically repeat or restart this timer and continuously check against the target. So it's still checking. Player is eliminated. They are teleported. And then since I'm still here in the zone, I'll be teleported as well. All right, and the timer keeps going. You can definitely disable that timer and re-enable it to continue the loop. So let me go ahead and show you the settings on how to get this started. Okay, so let's see here. First, this setup. So if you wanna use it to end game for last man standing, this is your typical setup. Um, what you're gonna do is you need your player counter. A timer is optional, but it's always good to have a buffer and an end game device. So these are the player counter settings. Fewer than two players. And it's set to transmit every time. And last instigator. Okay, and then going forward for the really important stuff, again, you wanna make sure this is set to zone or if you have it set to an island, you wanna make sure it enables at the time that your game starts. You're gonna compare players to target when receiving from player counter on success. There's nothing else there. And then when the count succeeds, you're gonna send an event to the end game device to activate. If the count fails, again, this is tutorial, I have it sent to a HUD message to show a message that the count has failed. And to start the timer, 
I have it set to player counter checker to start. So that's the name of my timer. Let's take a look at that. It's player counter checker. I have it set to 20 seconds. Will it count down? Applies to everyone. It will restart. And I'm only showing it because it's a tutorial here and so forth. Now for functions, we're going to start when receiving from the player counter in game when the player is counted. So that's basically this right here. So when a player comes into the zone, that's when the timer starts. You can also choose to have it start when the player is eliminated by using an elimination manager. That's also an ideal or, or a tracker if you're using a tracker. And then on success, we're going to send an event to compare to target and it's going to continuously go in a loop. The end game device, we're going to end the round. The winning team should be the activating team. And so forth. Just make sure your island settings are set properly. And that activating team will be the, the team that's the last one in the zone. All right, and that's it there. Now for setup two, you're going to need player counter. And the settings are quite the same, except we have it connected to a teleporter instead of an end game device. We're going to compare players to target again against the timer that's assigned to this player counter. Nothing else there. And then when the count succeeds, we're going to teleport them back to the lobby teleporter. And when the player is counted, we're going to start the timer. And if I did have an elimination manager connected to this, if you do want to do that as well, you can en enable an elimination manager and the checkpoint pad and register them on the checkpoint pad when a player is counted. That way when they come into the zone, they register to the checkpoint pad, and when they're eliminated, they're going to spawn here. All right, so for the timer, all right, we got 20 seconds and so forth. And you might want to have this to be set to hidden. Um, again, it's only shown because it's a tutorial. Um, but if you want to show it and it works for your game, go for it. You can make it for the same one, that's cool. And we're going to start when receiving from player counter in game on player counted. And on success, we're going to send an event to the player counter to compare players to target and so forth. And the teleporter should already be binded. Let's just take a look at those settings. Um, teleport when receiving from player counter in game when the count succeeds. And there you go, you make sure there's no groups. And those are the rest of the settings for that. And then your player checkpoint pad will be enabled when the player is counted and registered when the player is counted. And this is obsolete. We're not really using that. So no worries on that. But that's basically how you do it. That's how you create last man standing 
with the player counter two different ways and I do hope this helps you out. Um, just make sure your game win conditions are set. I didn't quite do them because this is a really quick tutorial. Um, but make sure you're set and then you'll be good to go. I hope this helps. Bye!